Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana, for tonight's main event. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Remember, double up Ten the rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Come on, Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. left hand to the head. Parries that punch away. He scored well after being hit himself. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. The greatest has been stunned. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round. And he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. Body. He boxed better. He fought better defensively. And when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. <laughs> Last 10 seconds of this first round. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten them up. Use your speed. Double up your punches. I want to see... Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by the greatest. <laughs> and just grabbing on to his opponent. The greatest is knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. Nice. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Halfway through this round here. That's a crushing right hand by the greatest. Solid. Razors gone down. A knockdown scored here. And boy, oh boy, he is in bad shape now. Give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but 
he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit. But I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. And he just holds on there. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Nice work with the overhand right. Keep your head moving. Final 10 seconds of round number two. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down to and gather out. himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the like question. Body shots. Believe me, he doesn't like that kid. Keep working the body. Take some of that. Razor's bounce is back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Blocks the headshot. Why is he doing this? Can, can you explain this right here? I mean, he's not doing anything. Either he's been hurt where we didn't see the punch early on, or right now he's thinking about getting out of there. He just doesn't want to fight anymore. He's broken down. Nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by the greatest. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Close that punch by Razor. Keep working the jab. Good. Well, supposed Good. to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. A stinging uppercut by the greatest. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Nice work. Nice work. Listen to me. The best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That's the way. Start of round number four as we look at Teddy's scorecard. The greatest is knocked down is a big difference maker here. And that's the thing. He has the power to separate himself a little bit in this fight. His opponent doesn't have that. Now hugging on the inside. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Razor scoring with that right hand. Oh, keep your feet moving. Look at that, the hook came home with ease. Not much action as he just ties up. Jab, jab! Halfway. Right hand crashes home. 
He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Razors cranked by an uppercut. Little head hunting with the left. Zones in on that overhand right. Unable to score with the hook. That's it, just like that. Hook, hook. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Keep, keep counterattacking, okay? We got when he throws, make a miss and count. The jab is really working good, right? Just keep, keep using the jab. Got to keep the jab moving. You don't need to push him off. Razor's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. Nothing there on the punch by Razor. Keep moving, keep moving. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Razor's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Halfway into round number five here. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Razor's giving me a sense that he really doesn't want to have the fight the way it was. He was stunned earlier, and now just so much more defense we're seeing out of him. Well, right now, what I think he has to do is try to get an Oscar. Get that award that those great actors get and not show that he's defensive right now because if he shows that too much, his opponent is going to know what he has to do to take advantage. Well-timed by Razor. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Nice work, nice work. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Listen, he's done. He is done. I want you to double up that jab, and then I want you to... Throw, throw punches, okay? Don't walk into them without throwing a punch. Don't waste energy, but I want you to keep those hands moving. You don't need that, no, throw that away. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. Nice block by the greatest. The greatest is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. That gives the trainers credit. Of course, that's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Right. 
Well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. <laughs> Halfway through round six. Jump on him! Nice! Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In his case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy is going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Nice! <gasps> you can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the greatest. A headshot blocked. Keep doing what you're doing. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Razor's done a really nice job of being able to land that back power hand. He's coming in with that straight punch and really scoring well. Yeah, well, he's getting a little bit of help because his opponent keeps leading with hooks in front. The old times would always say, don't lead with a hook from too far in front because the straight punch will find its way inside it. Scores with the uppercut. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Protect yourself. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Get him, get him. Good work. And he's holding. That hook was well off the mark. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And this round comes to an end. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep throwing punches. Nice round. That was good. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. I need you to box him. Wait for him and boom. Let's take time to look at Teddy's scorecard. Through seven rounds, you can see the greatest up, but will it stay that way? Only a few rounds He's to go. Tight. He's tied. <laughs> Able to cover up that gut. Good shot to the head with that right hand. 
An accurate left by the greatest. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't thrown back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Comes right back at him with a left hand. The greatest timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top tonight. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. And round eight comes to an end. Razor's still got a great chance to win this fight, regardless of what you just saw in that last round. I mean, conventional wisdom down here is that it's a close competitive fight that he's trailing on the scorecards. But you can tell this fight can turn at any moment. Yeah, it's very close. I think right now, you got to be the guy. It's kind of like an argument. You get into an argument with someone, you want to have the last word. Whoever throws the last punches, you know, one guy throws three, you come back with four. Whoever's the last one to throw, he's going to win. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. He missed with that headshot. Razor's got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? So if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for them. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas, and it's not looking real pretty right now. Beat him to the punch. Get after him. Move, move. 90 seconds into the ninth round. You see him holding on. Let it go! <laughs> you Tried to land one. that upstairs and was off the mark. Unload! The greatest in pressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Back to the body. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Deep breath. Stay with me. You have to do more to win this fight. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, count it. No turning back now. Tenth round is upon us. Last round of the fight.
precision work with the left hand by Razor. The greatest is jab, lands well. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. The greatest putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. He missed that uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Halfway through this 10th and final round. A minute to go in the fight. <laughs> the greatest is rock And banging away he goes. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Just like that, just like that. Very, very close fight. But the envelope, please, will bring all the drama. Which way will the judges see this? This is where they earn their money to be able to pick the right guy for tonight. This was a sure and steady effort by the greatest tonight. And it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.